boys and girls, it's Miss Underwood again, and I have a very special book picked out. It's called What Moms Can't Do, and there's a lot of things that moms can do, and there's not much that my mom can't do, or at least that's what I think. So, I thought this title was very interesting, so let's find out exactly what moms can't do, according to this book. And it is written by Douglas Ward, and the pictures are by Doug Cushman. Are lots of things that regular people can do, but moms can't. Moms can't wait to wake up the kids in the morning. They can't make the bed without lots of help. Moms can never pick out just the right clothes. They have trouble keeping things clean. Moms can't have yummos with purple marshmallows for breakfast. Only coffee or tea or yogurt or bran flakes. Yuck. They need a little advice when they're packing lunches. And he's telling her to pack a popsicle. Moms can't run very fast. Sometimes moms can't hear themselves think, whatever that means. Now, sometimes Miss Underwood will tell that to her students. We are so loud in here, I can't hear myself think, huh? Maybe that's because I'm a mom. Most moms are not good at saying goodbye. Even to the teacher. Moms can't push grocery carts very fast. And sometimes they need help opening doors. Moms don't know how to keep salamander shirts clean. Or toads in their pockets. Moms aren't very good tacklers. And they can't make a basket on their own. Moms are easy to squirt, but they have a hard time squirting you. Usually, uh-oh, she got him good in that one. Moms really don't like to watch movies by themselves. And sometimes they need protection from the scary parts. Feel much better with someone on their lap. And moms can't let go of a hug without a kiss of two or nine. There are lots of things mom can't do. More than you can count. But there's one thing they do better than almost anyone. What do you think that is? That's love you. So if you said love you, you were right. Good job. So, sometimes moms can't remember where they put their keys. Miss Underwood's that mom. She can never remember where she put her keys or her check card sometimes. So this book was kind of funny because it said moms can't do things. But some of the things moms can't do, it's because little kids are the reason, right? They can't keep little kids' clothes clean because the little kids get them dirty, all right? And, and then it says, moms can't wait to wake their little boys and girls up in the morning. That's because they're so excited to see them. And they can't make the bed without lots of help. And that's because they're teaching the little boys and girls how to make the bed. And they, ne they need advice when they're making lunches. Do you think mom needs advice when they're packing lunches? That's right. Not really. But sometimes they ask you what you want in your lunch, right? And sometimes they have a hard time saying goodbye because they love you so, so much. And moms can't push grocery carts fast enough because sometimes you want to push them unsafely. And moms don't, don't want you to get unsafe. Sometimes they need help opening doors because their arms are full. That's right. You're so smart. And moms don't like watching movies by themselves because they want to cuddle while you're so little. And moms certainly can't let go of a hug without a kiss or two. Right? And that goes for all the grown-ups that love you, right? Not just moms. All the grown-ups that love you that are in your life that 
they want to love on you and they want to make sure you stay safe. So I thought what moms can't do, and we could even input in that word, what grownups that love you can't do, right? Because not all of us live with our moms and some of us live with our grandmas or our nannies and that those people love us just as much as our moms do. So Ms. Underwood wanted to make sure that she read this book to you and reminded you just how much the grown-ups in your life love you. And some of the things that you think they can't do, they can't do because they love you so much and they want to keep you safe. So, reminding you about keeping safe, make sure you are washing your hands. If you are coughing, you are coughing to your elbow and then you go get some Duramax or you wash your hands immediately because I want to keep you safe during this time. Nobody wants anybody to get sick right now. Okay, boys and girls, we need to make sure we're washing our hands, brushing our teeth, taking our baths, keeping clean, staying inside the house. Don't go anywhere unless you have to go somewhere, unless your grown up tells you to go somewhere. It's very important during this time that we stay safe and we stay inside. Miss Underwood loves you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And I cannot wait until I get a real hug but you did not think you were getting out of this story time without a virtual hug, did you? All right, scoot in, scoot in. Bring it in, bring it in. Oh, and we're gonna do pick up hug. Oh, 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 pick up, pick up. Oh, goodness. See, I can even do a virtual pick up hug. So, Miss Underwood loves you from the what? Tell me. Tops of your head to the bottom of your feet. And I cannot wait until we join each other again. Bye.